Hey, just a quick one as we leave Point Turton. If you either can't get into the caravan park there or you just purely don't want to pay caravan park prices, where we stayed, Lembarka Reserve, 10 bucks a night, uh, got to be fully self-contained. Just so much cheaper. Uh, you still get to explore the beautiful area. You're only five to 10 minutes drive on a dirt road out of town, so you do get dusty, but well worth it in my opinion. You're right on the water. On Wikicams that doesn't look nice, the main photo is, I don't know, I don't even know where they got the main photo from, uh, but it doesn't look nice, but it, it really is a good spot. So if you want a cheap stay in Point Turton, then Barker. She's right. So apparently, oh, you probably can't hear me because of the car. So apparently, this um, road into Waralti Beach is quite tight. So, some people that have already been here recommended that I walk over the hill to just check, um, make sure no one else is coming, so that if there is, none of us have to reverse. <laughs> so, I'm just going to head up to the top of the hill just to scope it out uh, and guide Alex through. quite a walk from where he dropped me off. So he said he's just coming. How good does this look? <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. This is going to be awesome for a few nights. Hey, so I don't know if we've actually even said where we are. Did you say it when we were coming over? No, I think I no. just said it was difficult. <laughs> we're just doing a drive into a place and not telling you where. We're Alty Beach. So this is 50 minutes roughly drive north of Point Turton. Um, it's been on our radar for a while, but we didn't realise it was quite like this. We didn't realize it was a drive on the beach, park up in, you know, right against the dunes kind of setup. And it is awesome here. So we've got a bit of a windy day today, but you can't avoid that. On these... Apparently it drops off, Joel said it normally picks up around lunchtime and then it drops off in the afternoon. Well, there you go. I mean, it's windy, but it's not the worst. Uh, we've been on way windier beaches camping before. So this is absolutely fine. Uh, the kids have already, my friends, where are they? Can you give us it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Rainbow hat. <laughs> <laughs> so they're out there having a great time already. Um, we're gonna try our best again to get some squid because everyone here is just getting squid. Yeah. Mind you, a lot of them have tinnies, but there so is weed. <laughs> there is weed just out there. So surely, I've seen other people catch it here. Surely. Well, apparently bought, they're going off here. I bought another squid jig, another coloured one, just in case that is the problem. But it's not, it's me, I know. <laughs> but uh, hey, I didn't even say, this morning I did go down to uh, the Point Turton Pier again, and nothing. I spent a good hour and a half there, crack of dawn, no, not a single squid. Uh, I saw one person pull one in, and a lady I was standing next to <laughs> walked off after packing up, muttering, worst day in in two weeks in the last two weeks so look just wasn't the time i think no one's having luck at the moment except for everyone here so stay tuned we're gonna get some squid we i'm are. not stopping until i get some squid <sighs> anyway erin's having a little cook up just, just doing get... some prep so i i know i socialize we socialize a lot so... too much yeah there's so I many know. people up and down this beach that we know that we've already met in other parts of SA so far. So, so I'm just trying to get some of it done so I don't have to do so much and I don't feel like I'm missing out. Mm. I have major FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll show you more of this beach soon. So like Alex said, I'm in here having a little bit of a cook up. We did a shop at Waruka before we came into Waralti Beach. Um, $300 later, so that was a bit of a kick in the guts when my usual weekly shop costs around $150. So I am on a mission to make it stretch as far as possible. Also, I just want to get like a big bulk cook up done because I know we get socializing and I don't feel like cooking dinner because I have major FOMO. Uh, so 
I'll show you what I'm doing just to make like the budget stretch a little bit further because uh, we're really going to need to do that if we want to keep traveling because we've been kind of like pew, 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 blowing through it at the moment. So I'll show you what I'm doing um, and give you some little tips that you might be able to use to stretch your budget. All right, so I've just got a pasta sauce here just with some cherry tomatoes I had left over. Just, yeah, sitting in the fridge. I also had, I put in there some garlic, some tomato paste, and I had some leftover herbs that I had blitzed with oil. Basil, I think it was, that I just keep in the freezer as like a flavor bomb. So I just put a couple of those in there. That's gonna be for pizzas. We're gonna try homemade dough. You could also use that for like a pasta sauce with some olives or something. So that'd be a nice, quick, easy meal as well. This one here, so this is going to be um, the base for spaghetti, veggies in spaghetti. I know what you might be thinking, but like, like I said, just trying to push the budget and also Toby is a shocker at eating veggies. So whatever way I can get them in, <laughs> I'll do that. So I just normally, normally this is a standard, some mushrooms all finely diced because then it blends in with the mince. Onion, zucchini, carrot, Oop, there we go. So I'll also do this same base for a Mexican mince. So I do just like a 500 thing of like 500 gram container of mince. Put that in there with all those veggies. You can also add like for spaghetti, I'll add a tin of lentils. For spaghetti, I'll add a tin of lentils to make it go even further. You could make this whole thing with lentils if you wanted and do like a vegan spaghetti. For the Mexican mince, I do that same veg combination some taco seasoning and then i'll bulk it up with some beans so like black beans or you can buy the chili beans so the kidney beans in like a salsa um for like a dollar a tin so i do that you could even put corn in the mexican mince alex hates corn so i'm not allowed to do that but it's another option if your family eats corn you could bulk it up with that then what we do is we have that on pasta we have it on like a roast potato one night sometimes I just like quarter or like chop up the potatoes and do some crispy potatoes just in the grill because we don't have an oven and have it on that which is really nice that's probably my favorite same with the Mexican mince you can do like tacos or you can do a taco bowl with rice and some crushed up corn chips or you could do it nachos just really like versatile things I find so yeah that's my tips for making your budget go further. If I think of anything else, or if I do anything else, I'll let you know. Beautiful gear. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Would you check out the day we've woken up to? Not a breath of wind right now. I say that all the time, don't I? Not a breath of wind. But there is nothing. It is stunning. So hopefully, hopefully the day stays like this. If it is, I'll be a very happy man. Check this out for now. This place is just incredible. Love it.
Got him. Another one. Got me. <laughs> Will's getting all of them. I've caught one. How many we got now? Five. You got all of them, mate. Pretty yep. much. Yeah. What are you doing? Just letting it drop down and letting the waves do the action. What do you got? <laughs> we did. We got squirted. Cuddle. 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 Yeah. Not good. Oh. He just had hold of it. Didn't have hold of the hooks. He's right. He's coming back, isn't he? Yep. There he is. Got you got him? Yeah. He got the hook here. He's got, the he's got it. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> I didn't even know he dropped off at the same time. How are you going today, mate? <laughs> oh, having a blinder. He's dropped a couple oh. and he's been squirted more than he's caught anything. So Will just caught that same cuttlefish. It inked everywhere. Anyway, we got him this time. We're on to a decent one. Made a lot of ink. Oh, this on. one stuck pretty well. Yes! Nice! Finally! <laughs> Get off me. There we go. Finally! That's my first one on camera. I finally got an SA squid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I am the champion! <laughs> Some squid. Look at that. Got a few. Bloody stoked. <laughs> Absolutely stoked. But hey, you gotta know people with a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Just be able to grab the whole lot. That's disgusting. <laughs> the bloody feed. All right. So here are our four squid that we caught this morning. Uh, and then I've got the cuttlefish over here. Don't mind the mess, we haven't done our one wash for the day because we're on the beach, <laughs> trying not to waste any water. Um, so I think I'm gonna cut it all up and prep it, but I think we'll eat the squid tonight just because I'm so keen. I think everyone's keen, you're keen? Yeah, everyone's keen to just have squid because it's been this big dream. So this time we're gonna crumb it. We've got the coating mix, salt and pepper. Uh, and yeah, we'll just do that and we'll actually shallow fry it this time. I won't do the barbie. Uh, we'll just try to get it in and out nice and quick and uh, hopefully it is delicious. We're going to do a little bit of the cuttlefish as well because, well, I've never tried it. Uh, I don't think you've ever tried it, Erin, have you? I don't know. I no. think they're pretty much the same thing, aren't they? I think so. They said it's a little bit sweeter, but so I just want to do a little bit of cuttlefish. So while I've got our calamari, we can have a little compare, see what it's like. But because uh, with the cuttlefish you don't get a tube, I'm just going to score it and um, uh, cut it up into little strips. How much do you reckon? Oh, enough to coat it. Just so everyone knows, we don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> we're just having a crack. So we're going to do a bit of flour on the calamari and then we're going to uh, dip it in the egg wash and then we've got the 
the salt and pepper coating there. Right, so I think we're doing this all wrong. <laughs> we probably should have just gone squid straight into that because it wasn't really a crumb. It was more of a seasoning mix. So now we've actually mixed a bit of breadcrumbs with another one, but it's a bit of a gluggy mess. But hey, I'm sure it'll fry up fine. Um, we're doing this all inside because it is howling outside. It's absolutely ripping through. Uh, no one wants to be out there getting sandblasted and eating sandy squid. So we'll keep at this. Tell us. I'm sure by the time you're seeing this, we've figured out what we've done wrong. and We can cook this properly. But uh, yeah, if you've got any tips for how you cook your squid, let us know. So our shallow fry has become a very shallow fry. <laughs> we have bugger all oil. We're really not prepared for this, but they're coming out good. First batch were a little bit overdone. Yeah, a little bit tough the first lot, but we're doing them quicker now. All right, here we go. Came out all right, I reckon. Just a few chips, not a healthy dinner tonight. No salad, <laughs> couldn't be bothered. Don't make friends with salad. No, we normally would to be honest, but we just, Struggled time-wise cooking and everything, so stuff it. It's getting late. Just enjoy it. All right. Who wants a taste test? Me. Me. All right. I taste it. Go. Have a bite. No, me. All right. So I don't know if you can hear that, but the awning is flapping around a fair bit because uh, the wind is kicking up. So it wasn't the worst overnight. No, it's pretty good overnight, really. But uh, it's kicking up this morning. And uh, we're not going to hang around. Most people aren't hanging around the beaches, sort of clearing out, which is a bummer because we sort of planned three nights here mm. and uh, we missed the good weather. There were three good nights before we got here, mm. uh, but we obviously had the good nights just up the road. Uh, but that's all part of it. So, we did have a one nice morning at least. Yeah, yeah, and even the evening was good. Yeah. But um, we're not going to hang around on the beach while it's blowing its guts out. Uh, but. <laughs> Not much oh, you can do here. Nah, like that. nah. On a positive note, those all smalls, nothing came off. Yeah, I know. We had everything on them yesterday and yep. even blowing a gale and stuff, they were all still firmly attached. <laughs> but the only thing is, is I, when I shoved that flannel in, it didn't really dry properly because it was too close to everything. So probably wasn't, and probably wasn't spread, spread out, out enough. Spread out enough. Yeah. So it, that's why it's probably called all smalls because you put your yeah. small stuff in there. <laughs> True. <laughs> Valid point. Uh, but no, really happy with them, to be honest, though, if they can handle those winds when it was gusting up to 35 k's yesterday half, probably, yeah, even more. Uh, but they're predicting 40 k winds this evening and tomorrow. So, yep, yeah. we're going. So, definitely picking up. So. We're going to do a bit of schoolwork. Have, kids are having brekkie right now. So, hi, kids. Hi. Uh, and then we don't even know where we're going to go. No, I'm just looking. We want to go somewhere further north. Our plan is in the next two days to get around to the Eyre Peninsula um, and we don't want to do a massive drive, so. Yeah, the problem is, is that all the uh, spots we had picked out and highlighted, yeah, it's yes, blowing. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all, all the spots we had picked out are all coastal. on the beach and coastal, so. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. We might need to go tuck away for a few days because apparently after Thursday, like Friday onwards into the weekend, it's it dies right there so what's it like on the air don't know didn't look because that's where we'll be <laughs> anyway we'll get a bit of a plan we'll let you know where we end up well i'm well and truly sandblasted after packing up this morning the, the wind is just pumping that sand along. Uh, just before we left too, I did a little walk around and picked up some rubbish. There's a lot of it there, eh? Um, it's pretty sad to see. And I heard a bit of talk going around that the local council and whoever runs it are getting pretty fed up with it. And um, they're even talking about restricting numbers and stuff like that because it's so cheap and so open and they've got bugger all rules there. So just, Pick up your bloody rubbish, eh? Just pick up a bit more too. It's not hard. Everyone's got a bin bag on the back these days, but um, they're just going to start closing places like this. And, we, and that'd be really sad. No one will get to use it. And it's such a nice spot. 
So yeah, just clean up. Not For something up. that's so easy too. Yeah. Yeah, just do it. It's not that hard. All right, so 10 minutes uh, north of Waralti, uh, God, I can never say that right, Waralti Beach is Port Victoria. So if you come into the cricket fields or sporting grounds, there is a dump point and potable water. Uh, so we've just come in here, filled up. Now, if you're staying on Waralti, you can get here via the beach as well, but there, the other option is to drive back out and go the main road up. It's about the same amount of time, to be honest, by the time you've driven in. It's quite quick up the beach. So if you're just going for a top up with your car, yeah, pop up the beach and do the fun way. But uh, we're all topped up now. What's the plan, mate? Where are we going? North. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, that's it. We're just driving north. Right, uh, so we've ended up pulling up at the Port Broughton RV Park. Now this is a low cost camp just out of town. And the reason we've come out here is we're just gonna duck away for a couple of days and hide from this wind because today and tomorrow's forecast is just blowing its guts out. The beaches are horrible. It's just not nice out there. Now where you park up is just a bit of a gravel pit. Got some palm trees sort of protecting you from other people. But look at what I've just walked into. It's like a bloody resort. So the owner of this place, because it's private property, the owner of this place is just slowly building up this area for you to come and chill out in. And it is, it's impressive. He's still working on it. You can see they're building more of a fence over there, but it is set up like a bloody resort. There is a tiki bar, tables and chairs there's a camp kitchen it's got like a moat with a bridge going over it granted there's no water in it but it is quite dry down here oh big bloody bird cage got some birds in there so um yeah good setup hey should see it at night too i'll try to get a bit of footage they um he's got uh solar run uh led lights everywhere and these little i'll try to find one these little fire stands, these things. So at night they light up like their little fire pits and there's all mood lighting everywhere. So yeah, uh, like it's not that enjoyable at the moment because it's blowing its guts out. But on a nice day, if you just want an overnight stay or it's up to it's up to 72 hours uh it's a great spot to pull into a few flies obviously as you can see but hey it's great he's done a good job Hello. Guys, we have uh, driven into Port Paris. So it's about half an hour's drive from Port Broughton. God, there's so many ports around here, I'm getting so confused. <laughs> and uh, cause it's the, this is meant to be the worst of the windy days and it's blowing dust and everything around. So we've come in here and we've done all our shopping, tried to get a heap of, oh kids, look, horse cops. Horse cops. Oh, horse cops. oh. sorry, that was exciting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, where was I? Um, we just got all came and <laughs> <laughs> we've just decided. I oh, just gonna stop. Look at these buildings. Wow, look at that museum. That is amazing. Oh, that's an old railway station. Ah, I wouldn't mind going there. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to just pull over. We'll sort out lunch first. Okay. Take anyway, 17. take take three. Uh, we. <laughs> 
We've come in to do all our shopping and stuff, to get all that stuff done while we've got a day that we can't really do much. Uh, and we've spent up. So, Port Paris, we've just left 450 odd dollars with you. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. But no, <laughs> look, we, we got heaps. We went to the, the local butcher here, we stocked up on heaps of uh, meat. Meat. And then we went to the Woolies. Just because we, once we get around a bit further, I don't know how often we're going to get some Woolies. decent, yeah, Woolies or mm. Aldi or anything like that. So we stocked up and got some beer and everything. So that'll be us for today. We might have a little look around town, go get a bit of lunch, maybe a cheap hot chip sandwich or something. Mm. And uh, yeah, and then we'll get back on the road tomorrow. So yeah, we'll show you what we end up doing. Mm. If I was ever going to belong to a church, it would be this one. How cool is that? There's, um, so the old church has been converted into a fish and chip shop. All right, so we've got ourselves some hot chippies. Not much for what you pay, but I guess that's the way the world's going. Not like the old days, when you get a big bit of newspaper with heaps of chips in it. Anyway, uh, we got some cheese and bacon rolls at the supermarket while we were there, so that's us for lunch. And uh, we just met two nice local coppers. Gave the kids some stickers, they were just cruising around. See someone, um, police back. <laughs> police Horse back. back. Horse back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're sitting at the playground, so the kids can have a bit of a play after. Alright, so today is a very special day. What is it, kids? Last day of school! <laughs> hey, school holidays. Um, I think we're more excited than the kids. Mm, I know I'm what. Uh, definitely ready for a break. <laughs> I know what teachers feel like now. Uh, hitting school holidays, two weeks of no more school lessons in the morning. Mm -hmm. I am excited. And it's nearly my birthday. Nearly your birthday. Hey, we're just packing up. Oh, we're just doing a bit of school work and then we're going to pack up and get on the road. Uh, hopefully, this wind has finally died off and we can get out of it. We. Uh, Stocked up, did all our meat shopping yesterday. So we're uh, jam packed full of meat in that freezer. And yeah, we're all good. We did a big shop. So I think we're good to get off grid for a while. Pretty excited too. Uh, so we're just gonna drive to Port Paris again because it's on the way to Port Augusta. Fill up with some uh, water, dump the dunny, and uh, then decide where we're gonna go because we're not too sure yet. Um, we're just gonna go drive around a few of these free camps and check them out. Till we find a good one. Yeah.